This MMA 30 segment is powered by The Gun Store. Next time you're in Las Vegas, if you want to shoot a real machine gun, do it at The Gun Store at 2900 East Tropicana. FM News Radio 100.5 KXNT. Dave Fair and Jason Mahoney. This is the MMA 30 Radio Hour. Big news came down yesterday. UFC President Dana White announced the first headliner for UFC on Fox. That event is going to be happening on Saturday, November the 12th, down in Anaheim, California. Tickets will be going on sale on November the, or excuse me, on September the 16th. This is an exciting moment for the sport because the UFC has a deal with the Fox Network. Mm-hmm. Mix. Number one network in the country. Mixed martial arts being put on a huge platform. I don't know if you saw that promo that Fox did, but they're comparing all of the great Super Bowl highlights yep. and all of the World Series highlights and all of the Daytona 500 highlights to mixed martial arts. They say this is the new sport. you got to remember, Fox was actually the first uh, network to put mixed martial arts on something that was yep. not pay-per-view back with 42 and a half. 42 and a half, yeah. Uh, when Chuck fought Vitor on the best damn sports show, uh, period, you know. So Fox has a history of embracing mixed martial arts and seeing this come to the Fox Broadcast Network. This is a huge moment for mixed martial arts, and me as a fan, I couldn't be happier. Who is going to headline the first UFC on Fox card? You know the UFC wants to do it right. Here is a clip from the press conference yesterday with UFC President Dana White. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for calling in today. We appreciate it, especially on such short notice. I think there's no secret uh, to how excited we are about this new television deal with Fox. And I think there's no secret that we have our first fight coming up ever on network television, which will be November 12th. And to dive right into it without wasting any time, I think that most of the people that know about the UFC and the rapid growth that we've had over the last 10 years, and I think one of the big reasons for that is we deliver. We deliver to the fans, we deliver to our partners, and in my opinion, we're delivering again. We are going with uh, the most prestigious championship in all of sport, the heavyweight title. So on November 12th in Anaheim's Honda Center, UFC heavyweight champion Cain Velasquez will take on number one contender Junior Dos Santos on the number one network in America, Fox. Personally, Mahoney, I think that's a great move. People are attracted to the heavier weight fighters. Mm-hmm. Everyone understands back in the day with the big heavyweights, it was all about Mike Tyson. It was all about Lennox Lewis. People like heavyweight fighters, period. You've got two dynamic, very exciting, very fast-paced heavyweight fighters in Junior Dos Santos and Cain Velasquez. I think that is a dynamite main event, uh, much better than really you could have hoped for Um really with any other heavyweights, because these are the two best heavyweights in the world. Right now, without a doubt, and I think this is a win-win for everybody. This is a win-win for Fox getting this great fight on there. This is a win-win for the UFC, and it's a win-win for the fans. We're not going to have to pay something that we normally would have to shell out, $54.99 for a pay-per-view to see this heavyweight fight. But it's also a win-win for the UFC, because whoever wins this fight is going to be, obviously, the first... uh, mixed martial arts fight that anybody's ever seen on a network the size of Fox in prime time. No with an organization like UFC. Yeah, the so, UFC and, and Fox are working together to put a primetime special together. This is going to make whoever wins this fight a huge bona fide sports superstar from coast to coast. Without a doubt. You know, this isn't some CBS Elite XC or Strike Force on CBS. It's not buried at 10 No, it's at none of that. This is going to be primetime. This is with the premier mixed martial arts organization. And these are two dynamic athletes that people, you know, care about. So, and it's going to no just take, it's going to, it's going to rocket them to, you know, I mean, they could be up there with GSP, you know, in terms of endorsements after this fight. Both of these guys are already superstars, uh, but they're on a bigger platform and a bigger stage than they've ever been on before. This is a huge moment for the UFC, and I think that they absolutely nailed it with this fight. Because there was talks about Brock coming back and uh, maybe fighting Frank Muir again. And while that's an interesting fight at heavyweight and one that I think the fans would gravitate towards, these two guys are unquestionably number one and number two in the world. They can bill it that way, and whoever comes out is going to walk away with a belt. It's going to be a powerful moment. Everyone understands heavyweight fighters. This is a great choice by the UFC. And I think that these guys going into this fight know that they need to they – they're they are they're on a pedestal right now. The spotlight no is on them, and they are going to put on a show. I don't think there's – you know, I, I, I could see Kane possibly taking Junior Dos Santos down if the fight wasn't going his way, but I don't, I don't think that's going to happen in this fight. He- 
even when Cain Velasquez takes someone down, he is a busy, fast yep. fighter. Everyone talks about the pace of Cain Velasquez, how quickly he can move on the ground, and his cardio, how he can go for a full five rounds. So if that were to happen, if we were to have a five-round fight, that's all that we're going to see that night on Fox, which I found a little bit interesting. Dana White was talking about the fact that there's going to be potentially one fight on network television mm-hmm. that night. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think this is going to be a relatively quick fight. I think very possibly it could be over in the third round, maybe the second round, possibly even a first round TKO finish if, by uh, one of the guys. You know, if I, if I was a betting man, which, well, we all know I am, yep. <laughs> I would bet that this fight does not go the distance and it doesn't go out of the first round. Now, Dana White said that they're, they're not announcing any other fights for Fox yet because they're saying this is going to be an education process for many fans that have not seen mixed martial arts before. Mm-hmm. There's plenty of guys who live in middle America. You know, look, here in Las Vegas, this is the home of the UFC. Most people that live here are pretty familiar with it. If you're listening to this radio show right now, odds are you know what UFC is. Yeah. You know what an arm bar is. You know what a rear naked choke, you know what an overhand right things like that some of the more subtle things that the casual fan may not know but there's a lot of guys out there who know oh yeah my kids into that or yeah my buddies watch that sometimes does but your grandmother are, know what a knee bar probably is? not probably and I mean, not. even with football i mean there's a big there's still a lot of education you yeah know, what, what what's a nickel package or you know what, what exactly does a tight end do those are questions that i would say your average american can't answer but they want to feel like they have an understanding of it that's what the ufc is going to try to do is educate people to some degree with this fight card. Now, that doesn't mean that we're only going to see Junior Dos Santos and Cain Velasquez. Uh, That fight is going to be the main event, but if that fight goes short... The UFC on Fox debut, which is happening November the 12th, just down the road in Anaheim, California... That fight card is going to be a full fight card for fans that actually buy tickets to the event. So there's going to be plenty of other fights that happen that evening that could very well end up on the Fox Mm -hmm. network. So, you know, possibly Clay Guida versus Ben Henderson. That one was rumored a lot. Rich Franklin versus Tito Ortiz, possibly also in the mix. I'm not sure who it's going to be, uh, who else will be on this card. No one knows at this point. But one of those fights or two of those fights potentially could make it onto Fox as well. Yep. So there you have it. Junior Dos Santos. Cain Velasquez, your main event for UFC on Fox, number one. That's happening on November the 12th down in Anaheim, California. And those tickets are on sale September the 16th, and you can get them through Ticketmaster outlets. Coming up here on the MMA 30 Radio Hour, we're going to be looking forward to UFC 135. Three short weeks from today, UFC 135 is happening in Denver, Colorado, and the light heavyweight belt is on the line. Rampage Jackson versus John Jones. We'll talk about the drama that is brewing between these two and why there's been some serious allegations talked about in the past couple of days. We'll be right back here on FM News Radio 100.5 KXNT. This MMA 30 segment is powered by The Gun Store. Next time you're in Las Vegas, if you want to shoot a real machine gun, do it at The Gun Store at 2900 East Tropicana.